Coming soon on video and DVD. Ladies, we've been serving that. See the mold around the side? Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought that was basil. Oh my god. No, that's not basil. I was I'm about to leave. I am about to leave. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Chris Wade Grace. Back at it with another video. Now today, we got the most disgusting fridges on Kitchen Nightmares. Um, I know some of the parts is going to get cut off because, uh, um, because of the actual channel this used to be on. So I get copyrighted usually. But for the most part, yeah. Um, I used to watch again. I used to watch a lot of Kitchen Nightmares. Um. I think I have one. I think I have one going to Ramsey video, if it's not blocked. But for the most part, yeah, I definitely watch a lot of Kitchen Nightmares and these people's stupidity on not cleaning up their restaurants and everything and whatnot. So yeah, that's yeah, that's that's just tough. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to your boy. We are at 860. 860 subscribers so please 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 again subscribe to your boy and I, again we just on the road to 1000 and up so thank you guys so much now let's get on to the video what is that this is the jar we had earlier take it the what yeah. that you had earlier what's that this is, this is chicken so you've got cooked gyro cooling down and you've got cooked meat Sat next to raw chicken in a different tray, sir. In a different tray. And on top of cover a basket of uh, chicken. You cannot store cooked meat anywhere near raw meat. Rule number one. Just smell that. Just smell that. And then we'll watch him say that it's fine. Fucking smell it. Yes, I smell it. Yeah, go on, what's the smell of? Can you tell me what that smells of? Because he's in denial. That smells like shit. That is disgusting. Indeed. Have you any idea how long a jar where, needs to sit? Where did you find this? Where the fuck do you think I found this? If it's old, we should have just thrown it out. There's no reason to keep have it. Have you any idea how many years that needs to be in? All this these fucking jars. Eight years. Eight years? And my children's life was stored at the back of the fridge. Just... This has been eight years of it. Oh. That is disgusting. Oh what is that? What is that? That's what I said. How old are they? They're not that old. They're not that old. That's two days old. It's a funny two days. You see that there? Blood. Blood from where? From the meat. Blood from the meats on the mozzarella sticks. I don't know how you get blood on mozzarella sticks, bro. How many times a day do you go into that walk-in? Roughly a hundred. A hundred. A hundred. Disgusting. Okay. No, nothing fresh. Left over from my brother's wedding. Left from your brother's wedding. When was your brother's wedding? Have you any idea how bad a turnip needs to go before it gets that bad? Touch that. Just, 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 just. I'm not serving. We're not using it. Any it doesn't matter. Yeah, I just. Ah, oh, it should have just made my nose like itch. How long is that there? Kind of been two days, man. Two days. What in the fuck? Stop saying two days. This shit was like, she was there for like two, like, like three, four months. Out. Seriously? I I can't. Why are you taking my product? They're molding you. Okay. Do you see some more? Stay there. Chicken. Fucking hell! Hey, look at this. What's this for? Where's that from, then, chef? Those are from today. Those are those are not gonna be served to the public. Oh, they're not gonna serve the public. So why would this? That I'm not gonna serve this. So you're you're saving it for what? Talk to me, then. They just served it from this morning. Yeah. Who's sitting, little? You just said that you're not gonna serve him, and then you just said that they were served this morning. So you're. S fuck up. No, you're the little fucker. I'm telling you, this were made today. Oh, now, nice. If you don't fucking believe me, that okay. is your responsibility. Open meat. Open meat on the bottom of the. Oh, my God. Just dumped in there. 
It's not even in the freezer? It's not a decent temperature on the floor. Oh my god, it's not even cold. The the fucking refrigerator is not even cold, bro. Poor Billy. In a carrier bag. On the floor. Next to the poor belly, you got cooked chicken. It's actually hot inside. Just fested in there. No way. And that's sat next to the poor belly, you got cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. On the bottom! Jesus Christ. Ramsey, what's up? Oh, there's dust here. There's this is just like it's not that bad. You need help. What's in here, Daron? I know this is old, but that's the vegetables. Yeah. What's this at the bottom? Uh, Are they even still in business? That's supposed to be eggplant. Eggplant That's Parmesan. supposed to be eggplant. Last Thursday. That looked oh. like cookies. It should look like oatmeal cookies, yo. Yard almighty. Look at that. Yeah, that's bad. That. You're like, you can really tell when the food is horrible when even the quality of this video is not the greatest, and you can still tell that the damn food is disgusting and moldy and shit. Tomato sauce. They were feeling it. I know it's hot. We just made it today. So what's it doing in the fucking fridge? Hold that. I know it's hot. Hold it. What does hot things do that are sealed that goes inside a cold fridge? The sauce goes sour. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Because <laughs> <laughs> the suggest you spend five minutes sorting out your shit first before you start cooking, yeah? Jesus Christ. I should have known better. He's right, but he, he's just a pain in the ass about it. Gary. It doesn't matter. Yeah, trash. With the rotten vegetables thrown away. I need to order wings, please. And the order's pouring in. Jim and Jeff get back to cooking. Darren, order green beans, please. Got it. And begin to send food out of the kitchen. Make sure they say a prayer before they start eating that. Okay, the chicken. But the diners are less than impressed. Everybody from everybody in that place is saying that is nasty. <laughs> this shouldn't even be our kitchen. That is. <laughs> Just shut this shit down completely, yo. No, bro. Is anyone tasting any of these things? Seasoning, tasting? Every no. time a dish came back, it was like losing a customer, and uh, it hurts. What was wrong with it? It's no too shit. It's flowery and not enough sauce. It makes me feel like a loser. I do really feel like a loser right now. Okay, you are the owner. So how about you get an actual chef that knows what the hell he's doing? Now again, with the other chefs in the other restaurants, like these people don't know how to properly function uh, well cleaned and proper structured um, kitchen. So that's the whole thing about this show. Like 
yeah, you got these owners and these chefs and whatnot, and like you can see how much that they truly take care of this stuff, and it's just a part of it. Jeff, okay, oh, I'm just frustrated. So fix it, man. You are the owner. Fix it, bro. Like, again, like, I, 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 I understand when everything goes completely wrong and then it just feels like everything is your fault. And I get that sometimes, but it's also up to you to try to fix it. It's also up to you to try your best to make the best out of the situation. Even if shit is like pure left and and whatnot and again you just think everything is your fault so yeah I can I understand where he's coming from but again don't give up just keep pushing again you are the owner and this is just in life too like just just don't give up I look at me like as as much as I'm doing a whole bunch of work, I'm I'm doing cleaning, I'm doing this and that, and I'm doing like three jobs. So yeah, I'm trying my best the way that I can, even if times is tough. And yeah, we all can try to do the best we can, and we gotta keep pushing. So, yeah, just strive for greatness, yo. To work with before I can start looking at any form of change. You have to bounce back. I'm, I'm working on it. Is that really Jeff, you've got to. Okay, come on. Okay. Let's go. Come Fuck out. Let's go. Come okay. On. Mm. Chef Ramsey's right. You gotta pull yourself together and get back in there and get through the night. How are we doing? We're doing well, sir. Thanks to Chef Ramsey's encouragement, Jeff jumps back into dinner service and tries to help his brother Jim get the kitchen back on track. Keep it up, Jim. You're doing a good job. But unfortunately, he only makes matters worse. Jim, what have you done to this? I don't know what happened to those. I, I, I really don't. Defrosted them in the bag? I think they were defrosted in the bag, and I... Jeff. Yeah. The chicken tenders. What do you do to them to defrost them? I put it uh, on the steam table. You defrosted them in the steam table from frozen? Yeah. Not what you're supposed to do. No. Frozen food needs to be defrosted naturally. Right. Give me the bag. Where's the bag? Jesus Christ. Oh, God almighty. Uh, We can't serve them. You'll fucking kill somebody. Jim. Talk to me. What am I supposed to say? It's a mistake. It's a lethal mistake. Yeah, you. Oh God. But I, I, I don't understand. Like, you can't smell it. <laughs> like, bro, come on. Is that shrimp? What is that? Twice baked potato. Bro, that look like shit that I can leave in the fridge for like two days. Thank fuck, I missed that one twice. Mold. So dirty. God. When was that cleaned? Oh God. What is? Hey, look. I'll give it to Gordon because he don't give a damn. Like anything he touches and whatnot, like he gonna scrape that mo- freaking thing with his straight fingers. No gloves. Like he gonna go in there raw. Oh! This is ten thousand times worse. Like what is that? It's like it looks like shit. Shit. And crap. Kitchen hell hazard. My god. This stinks. That's gone off. My god, that's disgusting. Yo, there should be a new season of Kitchen Nightmares. Is there? Some dirty fuckers picked 
If there is, then tell me on the bottom. Oh my god. That look, that look, that look like that been there since 1999. Dirty, dirty fuckers. This is the dessert star preparation. It's got blood. It's disgusting. How a dessert got blood on it? Lamb chops. And what's this satin? What is that? Water. Yeah, water. Dirty water, yeah. And this here? What is that? Fudge from the mud pie. Fudge from the mud pie. Fudge from the mud pie. That's on top of a leg of lamb. That's dripping with blood. You with me? The place is littered with shit. Everywhere you turn. And for me, it was bad enough to see the crap in the dining room. I didn't expect that walking to be festering the way it is. What in the fuck are we doing? How old is that? I don't know. You don't know. Look at the color of the chicken. Green and stinking. What's this? Hi. And what? We're serving that. Excuse me. Look at the way we work. What is this? What is this? Anybody? I have no idea. You got no is idea. Is that spinach? And this? How old is this? Oh my god. You disgusting pigs. Look at that. Yeah, it's fermented. Just, just, just smell molded. That. Smell that. Come on, please, you own it. <laughs> Ladies, we've been serving that. See the mold around the side? Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought that was basil. Oh my god. No, that's not basil. I was I'm about to leave. I am about to leave. I am about to leave. How the fuck he thought that was? Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 oh boy. What's fucking basil? How long does a sauce sit in the fridge to get moldy around the top? Quite a, quite a long time. Fuck off, will you? Touch the wall, you dirty pig. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I love it when he curses, yo. I love it. Anyways, I hope that you guys like this video. We are on the mode to 1,000 subs. So, guys, if you please can, just hit that like button and subscribe to your boy. And I hope you guys have a good day. Oh, also, too, I'm going on vacation. So, you are about to see a whole bunch of upcoming videos for the next few days. For the next seven days. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.